Well, how do there, chums, does I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm hitting up Nightingale. Now, this is the full release version of Nightingale, and this is way before the release date. I'm part of the creator's program for Nightingale, and I must say I feel totally honoured to be part of this. Anyway, I'm going to be jumping into the character creator part, and yeah, I'm going to show you some snippets of the current the character creation, but I'm probably going to cut away because it can take me ages to make my character. Anyway, I'll see you over inside of game, people. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to be hitting up new profile. And step one. Welcome to Nightingale. Begin by selecting the basics. Choose your body type and default appearance within the archetypes available. Lovely job, Lee. Let's do this then. Here we are. Step one. Okay, the basics. So we can choose an architect. Let's go for my age. I'm going to choose my real life age inside of this. So here we go. Let's spin this around. Okay, this could take me a little while on joypad. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's taking a while. Oh, can I just do it on mouse? There you go. There you go. I've got my mouse to hand. So there we are. We go for there. 45. Voice. Well, I can't really hear that. The music's too loud to hear the actual voice. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that one. Okay, brilliant. Okay, archetype. Now, there's a lot of base types to choose from. That might be the easiest starting point for me. Good old noggins. Uh, let's have a look see if there's anything that's a little less podgy. Yeah. How about you? No. Man, they're really... Oh, hold on. That's not too far off. I mean, my jaw isn't quite as manly. Quite not as quite manly as that, no. Um, how about that one? Ah, uh, oh, there we go. That's close enough. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to have a little play around, and I'll come back to you if I come across anything in this character creator mode that is is rather fancy or different to other character creators, eh? Oh, and as soon as I clicked away, click back on it. You got ancestry, so you can choose your like your story, so you can go for academic, statesperson. Oh, quite like statesperson. Yes. But um, I was not born into wealth. I've worked my way up the ladder. So, you know, tradesperson. Nice. Jack of all trades. Not very good at DIY, though. I must have met people. Hermit. Reclusive. Yeah, lonesome wilderness over the bustling city. Mm, no, I do like modern life. Officer. Military officer. Well, yeah, OK, cool. Pretty nice. Petty criminal. No, not me. Vagrant. Mm, still not me. Okay, well, what was the first one? Academic. Yeah, that do. And that's that's more me. <laughs> the first one then. Lineage. Hold on. What the fudge? You can choose who you're freaking related to. All right, well, we'll, we'll have that guy then. Yeah, we'll have that one. How, how do I... How, yeah, next. Ah! No, I hadn't finished with my ancestry. Oh, there you go. And grandparent two. Okay, all right. We'll go with her, because she looks rather dashing, doesn't she? Oh, my days. I could be on this for ages. But how do you how do you go back? Because there's a whole freaking family tree to fill out. Okay, so close that. You don't have to click close every time, do you? This is going to take me a month for freaking Sundays. Oh, man. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't really care, then. It's going to take me too long to fill out all these guys. Am I doing some? Is there something obvious on here? Let's just hit freaking that then. Hopefully that hasn't changed my character though. Okay, close. Well, yeah, that 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 didn't help. I've got the same grandparent. Oh, for fudge's sake, go on, random, random. Hold on. Whoa, yeah, that's better. Heck yes, we've done that then. That's our lineage. Okay, that's me down there. I don't think it's actually changed me overly all that much, has it? Inheritance. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's really quite something, isn't it? I want to have larger eyes, but um, it's giving me rather squitty eyes. I want to have a thinner face. I think round there is probably about right, isn't it? That's pretty darn... I haven't seen that before in a, in a character creation. I really haven't. I mean, there was Bi Biomutant was bloody good. Biomutant was similar, but th this, this is good. Okay. Your skin tone, your eyes. Okay, cool. How do I do that then? There's nothing in... Oh, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I've selected it. Okay. Oh, look, you can rotate me. Okay, cool. Skin. Let's go for skin tone then. And I want to be... Did that actually change my skin tone? Let's go for a little bit pinker, I think. I'm a little bit raw red-faced, aren't I? So there we go. So go over that. Oh, that's a little bit too pink. No, actually, that, that looks okay on my screen over there. On one screen, it looks too much. And on another, it looks fine. Scars. Okay, character creation is under development. More will come soon. And, and the same with tattoos. All right, fine. Hair. Hair colour. Um, I have actually got sort of like a, a weirdy sort of blonde, a, a blondy sort of colour. But now that I've hit 45, it's, yeah, I'm not going to lie, it's got a bit more grey coming through. But uh, I don't know whether you've kind of got my hair colour here, people. Um, it's like a mixture of blondy greys. Yeah, I don't think you've quite got it. So I go for... That'd do. That'd do. Okay, right. Hairstyle E. Okay, we well, can't really see my hair because underneath this lovely hat that Inflection Games sent me. Yeah, this is a nightingale hat, people. But I've got like a, a little bit of a, a flick going on. Now, I know we're in the modern age and you can't really say male or female. It's body type one and two. But I kind of wish that if you did select body type one or two, or I really wish there was some sort of filter to have male and female haircuts, because it's hard to see these because they're silhouetted. And look, half of them are going to look freaking pants on me, you know? So it would be nice if there was that for those that do still feel that you know male and female is applicable to them and how they identify, like me, I identify as male, okay? I would like to have a filter for male and female haircuts. I mean, that one has got a bun on the back. I could have quite easily chose that one and then walked around with a bun on the back of my head for the rest of my freaking playthrough. Okay. Again, it's got a bun on the back. Okay, if I scroll down, am I going to get to the manly ones? There's no manly hairstyles in here. Well, I, I guess we're just going to rock with that then, because I could be here forever and end up with a bun on the back of my bloody head. Hey, look, another bun on that. Bloody hell, people. I could just go bald, couldn't I? You know, I could just rock like that. There's not that many manly haircuts, to be fair, is there? There really isn't. Um, okay. Um, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll just go with that one then. We'll go with that one. Go on, eyebrows. I have got quite prominent eyebrows. A little bit more bushier than that, but not quite full on that. We'll go with that. We'll go with that one. Oh, look at those ones. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look, you can have Spock brows. Nice. I love it. Oh, there's some fun ones in here. They've got more eyebrow choice than they have haircuts for men. Go figure. Okay, there we are. Unless I'm missing something in hairstyles. But I'm not going to risk getting a bun on the back of my head. Okay, facial hair. Right, let's go down here then. And let's go for... Uh, hmm, I do like a bit of stubble. Have you got any casual stubble? You've got full-on freaking beards. Full-on tashes. But you haven't got just gentle stubble. Or they're rather, they've gone for the whole... We are gentlemen. We don't do stubble in this era. If you have an attach, it's because it's by purpose. It's not through happenstance. No. So I guess I'm not going to rock a beard then. Okay, head then. Skull. I want to make my face a little bit thinner. Yeah, a little bit thinner. And yeah, a little bit. I don't want my jaw to be as big and as prominent as that. You know, that's, that's proper full on friggin's... Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff, isn't it? Forehead. I've got a bit of a forehead, but not, not massive. Nose. I have got a bit of a pointy nose. It kind of goes down at the end, though, doesn't it? So, yeah, like so. Nice. I think, actually, I, I, think that's, I think that's the only thing that matches my own face at the moment, is the nose and the ears. The nose and the ears, spot on. And maybe the eyebrows. But the rest of it needs some freaking work, and I don't think I can get it to look exactly like me. You know what? This first episode might just be character creator, because I didn't expect it to be so in-depth. That's actually really quite cool, isn't it? Jawline. There you go. I brought the jaw up a bit. I think this is looking a lot more online with the way I look, perhaps. Okay, eyes. Let's see if we can make my eyes bigger. Eyes preset. I have got blue eyes. There we go. Um, There's not... 
eye shape here we go position size look they're on zero how do i make that bigger yeah here we are that's a bit better i don't want to go full-on freaking alien face do i i doubt right. come on i'm clicking it but then it doesn't actually what the f what is actually changing there nothing yeah eye roundness let's go into here yeah, I've got very westernised eyes. Oh, yeah, I have to do. Okay, right. I mean, you could be in this editor for hours. But considering you could be in this game for months, get it right. You don't want to be walking around as a character that looks terribly not like anything that you want it to look like. You know, So take your time with this, is what I would say, people. Don't be in a rush to jump in and see how glorious the game is, even though it, it is freaking glorious. I will... Look, I, I kind of want to make myself have a, a smile as standard. I'm a happy chappy. This, this looks a little bit downtrodden, a little bit... And my top lip is quite thin. My, yeah, I like that. I do. Teeth. Okay, well, I've, I've got... Um, let's put a little bit of decay on there. There we are. I, mean, I, I drink a lot of tea, so... There we are. Crookedness. Yes, I've got crooked teeth. Yeah, that... That that do I go for about eighty percent? I don't think anyone's going to really be looking at my teeth. Metal teeth? Well, we haven't got no metal teeth. All right, we don't wear makeup either, so we go straight to step three. Ah, select your difficulty medium. I'm going to go as easy as possible. Okay, survivalist and prepper, academic. Yeah, give me this as easy as I can possibly have it, mate. And realm. Again, easy. I'm in this just to relax, build a quaint little dwelling, experience the world at a nice slow pace. I don't want to get mullered, okay? I just want to take my time with it. It takes me a lot longer to read things. Because I've got dyslexia, I just want to read the tutorial, take my time. And it's not like every single character in this is voice acted. So I, I, I need that extra time to read things. So I'm going with easy. Finalize. There we go. Let's go next then. Choose your name. Captain Steve. Play. Okay, cool. Before time it's Cut scene time. Have existed. Beautiful. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywild. The Fae have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Wow. In the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin. Love the art. And out flowed the pale swallowing all in its path I'm loving Some all the ambience ever spreading tongue seeking refuge in nightingale that's like london Only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed but ah perhaps not all is lost I'm loving the voice For acting nightingale still stands Pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment. Humanity's final beacon. I love all the sound. The path thither is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit? Or wilt thou endure, find the way home? Oh, I love the ambience. I like the music. I like the voice acting. I like the visual styles. There's a lot of boxes being ticked right now, people. There really is. Okay, it looks like before you jump on in, it's actually got a nice little freaking pocket watch and stuff on here. Okay, chums, well, I've jumped on in. We've had a little bit of dialogue with good old Puck. And he says that he can rebuke death. That sounds like a much better offer than death itself. Anyway, let's um, click over here and continue on. 
toward portal and apparatus, so you, bare child of Earth, might abscond this nightmare. I, I would like to abscond the nightmare, definitely. Travel to the forest byway swiftly. Across the divide, a greater gift awaits. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. I much prefer the word Fay to Fleshling that you keep calling me. I prefer Realms Walker if you don't mind. Fleshling is it, it, it it's not got the best connotation. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at him go. Oh Why not? Yeah. Brilliant. He's just effed off, isn't he? Right, okay, now what have I gotta do then? Hang on, let's head on over here. Open up Realms card. Yeah, I, I pressed X. Oh, there we go. And we're going to be adding over the forest card. Yeah. Ah, no, I want I want, I want that one as well. Byway card. We put that in there as well. Open portal. Why? Here we go, people. Now, on my Why, PC, I have set this. Oh my fudging no! Ah, they're after me. They're behind me. They're behind me. No time to dilly dally, people. No time to dilly dally. We're going. We're getting out of here. So yeah, I selected performance mode. I, in fact, I hit auto and it's auto detected all my graphics settings. So this should be the best I can get it. And I'm running it on a 4070. Now keep in mind, I am also capturing my webcam, my audio, and it's all going through OBS. So yeah, you might have a better experience on a 4070 than what you're seeing on screen. Okay, here we go. So it actually says about the forest card here and exactly what it's done and the byway card and what that's done. To play to seek small transient realm. Diminutive wilds exist that serve as pathways between larger realms like secret passageways to two glades from the Fey, Red Cross, Knights Lund, they were called byways. Nice, and we've got a gentle forest, which means that we're going to encounter very earth-like creatures. I'm seeing bears, I'm seeing bumblebees, and I'm seeing some butterflies. Okay, right, let's, uh, let's continue our journey then, people. Yeah, oh, there I am. Oh, I have rendered in properly, lovely. So yeah, um, the graphic fidelity on my machine, like I was saying earlier, yeah, might not give a true representation of just how glorious this game is. I am hoping to build out a better PC during the year, people, so we'll see how that goes. But you know what? For character customization, the character customization was great. The sound effects are awesome. The music is great. The voice acting for good old Puck here is freaking on point. And the actual worlds, I mean, look at this. Oh, and look at the sky box. It's all like lightning and stuff in the sky. I just want to look around. I know you can hear all the birds and you hear the wildlife. It does feel kind of relaxing. Now, I do know there's a lot of bars for me to look after in this game, like sanity, food, rest, all that sort of stuff. So it does feel like there is a little bit of a, a time pressure there, especially in early game. Among the fortunate few who managed to flee the pale's noxious proliferation. Okay. Nightingale still stands, but Earth teeters on the brink, and these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, will thou be a survivor? I bloody hope so. Yes, I, I tend to survive. The gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. Pulling off the corpse of a realm walker. Keep these like close companions. Okay. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. I would have preferred a tent and maybe a, a lighter or something. But uh, okay. Oh, and a knife. Or just a, a mansion on a hill would have been great. With the man made network sundered, entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms. Again, no, not submit. Actually, no, the Hermetic Guidebook and Pocket Watch, you pinched off a dead body. It's perfectly fine. Um, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Thank you, Puck. You're, you're awesome. In the interim, I hear your stomach snarling. Mm. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast fit for a fleshling. <laughs> Preserve yourself and I shall return anon. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You may have noticed I've changed my hat. Yeah, the other hat was pushing these... Um, earphones against my ears too much so i'll probably start each stream wearing that hat and then swap into this one. Oh, under this mask you wonder i am puck robin to some oberon's merry wanderer of the night 
the last furtive fay to grace your kind. You know what, mate? It didn't even it cross my mind that that was a mask. I thought that was your actual freaking face. Yeah, I thought you were some sort of fawn flesh looking, but obviously you're fay. But yeah, it would be nice to see your face now. You've got me intrigued. Okay, goodbye, Puck or Robin or whatever you want to go by. AKAs are abound. Find a source. Acquire some berries. They look like berries. Oh, X to acquire. I've acquired berries, people. Okay, you can hold small items like food and torches in your offhand. This one for me. Yes. Press LB to use your equipped... Okay, all right. Well, I guess we close that. And left button. Have I ate it? I think I ate it. Okay, I ate those berries. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Acquire rocks. Okay, I can see lots of sticks. Oh, we've got to collect sticks anyway. That's that's another objective up there. I saw animals. There's animals. Okay, right. We'll ignore the animals. It's not in the top area there. Right. So we collect three sticks. There we are. Now I need to collect rocks. There's some more berries there. I'll have some berries. Thank you very much. I like the fact you just press a button once. You don't have to hold it down to collect stuff. Now, as you know, as part of the beta inside of this game, quite some time ago, and although that I'm sort of acting as if this is the first time I've played it, it's been a long time since of all of that um, beta. In fact, these, are, these aren't berries that I'm picking anymore. I've just picked a load of purple-looking plants. I thought they were berries, people. Right, okay, we're looking for rocks anyway. Rocks might be harder to come across. You know, so, yeah, what I was saying was, is... This is very different to my beta experience in a roundabout way. I mean, yes, it's the same game, but right at the start, it wasn't Unreal Engine 5 like this is. I mean, look how glorious that looks. Look at the waves coming in. Oh, that is freaking awesome. That is beautiful. Now, although that I'm saying that my PC isn't probably up to scratch on this, this, oh, look at it. It looks beautiful. It really does. I, I need to see this on a high-end PC, though, people, you know? I don't know whether what you're seeing now is given this true justice. But hopefully it's given you enough to sort of watch and, and watch with me. Here we go. I've got some rocks. I've got... Oh, I've got eight out of six. I've done that. So raw berries. I need more berries. But I'm not seeing it. These are all like flowers. Okay. Are you a berry bush? I don't know. I mean, we saw berries earlier. I heard a weird sound then. Like a grunt, like... Wah. Oh, no, there's loads of deers. Here we go, these are berries. These are berries here, right, we'll have those. Any other berries? They're the ones that are really thickly coloured purple. There we are. And we get this one. And you know what? Why I can see berries, I'm going to get these as well. And have that. Okay, so now we're going to be putting down a campsite, I guess. So... How do I get into the build menu? It popped up rather quick, didn't it? And I was too busy collecting bloody berries. All right, let's go in. Let's press the menu button. Okay, so building. Um, ah, hold on. Right trigger. There we go, building. So if we go into there, there we go, campfire. And we're going to be placing that into the world, people. Little campfire. Mm, I'm going to go down by the uh, down by the shoreline where it looks really sort of majestic. Um, I was just by the shoreline a second ago. Let's go over here. There's some more berries there. Yeah, I quite like here, you know. I want to wake up to that view every morning, people. Yes, I do. Let's put that there then. Okay. And hold. Auto add resources. I Oh, there we go. And A. Okay, workbenches and other stations in Nightingale have multiple interaction points. Interact with the fire point. Oh, okay. So, depending on where you actually look on the fire, it does different things. After igniting the campfire, interact with the cooking pot of the campfire to begin cooking. Select your recipe and ingredients, and then put craft to cook. Okay, right. So, there's interaction points. So, first I want to light it. So, if I go to there and press X... I just want to auto ignite it. I'm not too fussed about anything. Yeah, okay. That'll do. Ignite. There we are. Well, we haven't got long. Okay, right, okay, cool. Let's go into that then. X. 
and let's do roasted berries yeah just put in there and yeah a yeah i want to put roasted berries in that's that's what i want to do yeah and then craft y did that do it i can hear a noise that it sounds like it's done it but i'm not seeing any berries in there okay i'm just gonna do auto fill then i think i've already done it i think i've done it i think i've got my berries roasted berries yeah do it again then okay let's just can i do autofill x yeah this is really complicated i guess i haven't got any i don't know oh i have look they're down in my inventory now it's just i didn't see any cooking animation or anything like that so i wasn't sure whether i cooked them or not eat roasted berries okay um oh no oh dear what have i done um exit okay and then i want the roasted berries i think they're roasted berries they look like roasted berries don't they and then i guess i press my offhand button what's really strange for me is these these boxes down at the bottom offhand is over to your right where it's your left hand button you got to press it feels very decompopulated return to park okay well, where is where is Mr. oh there he is there he is right there. Okay, well I guess we've done step one of the old tutorial. You've avoided embarrassment by yes! saving off starvation. <laughs> Staved off starvation. You sent, your meal was no summer court banquet, but at least you persist. Take that starvation in the face! I beat you, starvation. Yes, I ate roasted berries and they were lovely. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. Okay. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. Ooh, we're going to a sandy desert biome would be my guess from what you just said, Mr. Puck. Hopefully I've deduced that with my cunning and Kyle and Nile. Okay. And off he goes. He done a little bow this time. No clickety fingers. I did like that clickety fingers animation earlier. Okay, right. Well, I'm loving the ambience. Um, I'm, I have to be brutally honest. Even this freaking little campsite freaking fox me in the way that you use it and the way that you bake stuff and make stuff. Maybe it's because I'm playing on joypad and it's probably easier on mouse and keyboard or something. Keyboard players are probably going to love this. Joypad players, I liked it, but I found it a little bit cumbersome. Obviously, it's been designed for keyboard and mouse, and I'm playing it probably not the way it's intended. Right, now I've got to traverse another realm and go into another biome. But you know what, people? I think that's probably going to be for another episode. We've seen the start. So let's, um, let's uh, see if I can save the game system. Is there a save setting? Quick game. Let's see if it says it would auto save. Log out quick to desk. Yeah. Um, quick to desktop. Yeah, do that. Hopefully, I think that's saving. That looks like a saving will. Okay. So hopefully that's saved. Fingers crossed. Lovely jubbly. Cool. And now I'll jump back over to me. Like this. And uh, yeah, so first impressions of that. Um, the character customization definitely has some new elements in there. The thing I didn't like about the character customization was the fact that I couldn't sort of filter my hairstyles and facial appearances and things like that. It was it was a whole mix and plethora of hairstyles to the point that I didn't know if I was picking a manly haircut or a femaley haircut. So I just went with generic Joe Bloggs haircut in the end because I think, yeah, that's one sort of I, I hope they improve that. I hope they give male and female field filters or even type one type two if they have to do that type filters i know it's a different day and age to what i grew up in but you know if i'm still applying for a job it's going to say are you male or female or non-binary or i know those options are there now but even still there's still options that are there so yeah have those have male female non-binary and um you know give me everything and so it just i just want to filter the styles you know I mean, it's okay to cater for... Well, right now, it feels like it's catered for everyone. But at the same time, it'd be nice to have those filters for those that are, are aligned to male and female sort of presets. I don't want to go to town on this. But for me, it made my character customization harder than it needed to be. Okay? So, yeah, I would like to see that sort of tweet, maybe, perhaps. 
Um, what else did I... I do like all the garb that I've been gifted and put into the world in. Pretty nice. I'm hoping that we get to craft our own tables fairly soon so we can make some awesome setups. I mean, look how awesome she looks. I mean, I love that hat. That is a freaking awesome hat. See, I'd quite like that hat, but take off the flowers. Leave the feathers on. The feathers can stay. And I'd like to make it maybe... In fact, have it still red. I quite like the colour red, black and white. But yes... So a lot of styly type stuff. I'm hoping you get to adorn yourself to make yourself look freaking dapper to the nines. Yeah, from what I've seen from the game trailers of this, seeing people gliding around on umbrellas, going fishing, I want to partake in all of that stuff. This sort of stuff over here, where you've got the giant freaking beasties and you've got these evil guys with great big freaking bludgeons of death. I'm hoping I don't encounter those too soon. <laughs> yeah, because I just want to relax into this, take my time with it, experience the realm, see what visual sights are out there for my eye peepers. And I just want to relax into this. I want to become part of the Nightingale world. And I think part of that is probably hitting this up in multiplayer at times and having a little bit of a multiplayer jaunt. I tend to learn more off of other players rather than the game tutorials, because I mentioned earlier, reading issues. So if you are picking up Nightingale and you're in this on PC and you want to join me, probably now is probably a good time to let me know that you want to do that. I've got like a, a Discord, I've got a Nightingale subsection in there, but you can DM me on Nightingale uh, and, and say, you know, yeah, I'll be up for a little bit of a, a multiplayer jaunt with you. I mean, that's going to be open more so to my backers and those that sort of support the channel first and foremost. But if nobody comes forwards in that sort of avenue, then yeah, I'll be happy to hit this up. But Keep in mind, we're going to be on mic. You're going to have your voice broadcast. So be YouTube friendly is what I'm saying. Uh, and if you haven't got the Queen's English, all the better, I guess. If you fit the Nightingale theme, lovely. That'd be lovely. But yeah, you know, anyway, as long as you enjoy gaming, really, that's the main thing. But yeah, you've got to be YouTube savvy. Yeah, hit me up. Let us know if that interests you. But until next time, people, salute to Mondo. I'm going to press on with the tutorial, though. But it'd be nice to have a few people that registered interest by the time I finished doing the tutorial and got my first impressions out there. Because what I'm hoping is to find somebody that's really keen on making a decent base. And they can say, right, Steve, I need this, that and this. And I go off and get all the stuff, come back, give them to that person. That person builds the base. Somebody that's got a, a decent eye for style and, and homesteading. That'd be cool. And I, I'd happily go out and gather all the materials and maybe we can do this sort of thing together so the elements that i don't enjoy so much maybe there's somebody out there that will enjoy those bits and do all that sort of stuffage i mean yeah anyway i think i'm rabbiting on too much i'm thoroughly excited if you can't tell to get into this and and do more inside of nightingale and i, I honestly think this has come on leaps and bounds from my play testing to now and it's so nice to see even some of the ideas that i suggested inside of my actual um playtesting have come to fruition inside of nightingale it's like right now on the tutorial we're going off to the desert world one of my suggestions was because they just put you in and you had to actually craft your cards get all the inks and stuff like that one of my suggestions was make it so you get to experience all three realms inside of the tutorial so then you can choose where you want to put your respite realm you've got a better idea because i kind of felt a lot of people would just go for the forest realm because that's the one that they spawned in that's the one that they they've seen that's the one where they feel comfortable and they're not going to see how beautiful this game is until well well after the tutorial and so I asked that they made the tutorial a little bit more padded, guided through the different realms, through the different biomes to give that sort of flavour and taste. And they've gone and done that. So hats off to you, frickin's um, Inflection Games. I mean, maybe I wasn't the only person to suggest that as feedback and ideas. I've still got all my Word documents of all my ideas. Maybe I could do a deep dive. I'm going to have to ask the guys at in Inflection whether they mind me giving feedback that I gave and how the game evolved. But you know what? Having a... A creator out there, a developer that listens to their community is so nice. And to have that feedback as well and to see that realised inside a game is bloody awesome. And yeah, you know, I'm on their Discord. We've got a private Discord for all those that are part of the beta testing. And I'm actually DMing the developers and talking to them about ideas and, and, and how things have progressed. One of my ideas was a bit crazy. You know, like the skyboxes all change. One of them, I said, how about a giant eye that appears in the sky and the eye actually follows you around as you're... And, and they love the idea. I don't know whether they've put it in, 
but it could be something that appears one day in a future update or something. But a giant freaking watcher over eye, like the all C and I just watching you as you move around. How creepy but cool would that be with a really cool sky box behind it? It'd be freaking eerie but awesome. Yeah, if that appears in game. Freaking heck. I, I can't wait to see what the realms have got on offer. And um, I think this is going to have a niche following to start off with. And then that turns into a cult following. I think this game is something special. And I think it's going to evolve because Inflection Games love it. It's a passion project. And not only that, they listen to the people that are playing it. So I think this one could be something decent and very special and something to keep on your radar. And I've heard that at launch, this game, although it feels like a triple A game, has not got a triple A price tag. That's what I've heard. I've heard that it's going to be roughly around the £30 mark in English monies. I don't know how that translates to your world. Don't. Don't hold me to gospel on that, but I'm I'm not hearing stupid monies like Skull and Bones monies anyway. I'm not hearing like 90s or hundreds of pounds because it's a quadruple A game. No, this is because it's still kind of early access -y in a roundabout way and it's still evolving. I think the price tag is going to reflect that. So let's see what it is on uh, on launch date. But if it is £30, it's worth every penny, even if it's £40, I think it's worth every penny. Because I think there's a lot of game to be had here with all the realms and the way that they're procedurally generated, the survival aspects, the creatures you're going to encounter, the fact that it's going to be a different game every time you play. And even when you saw me do all that customization at the start, there's different professions to go for. You I mean, you can make this as hard as you want. You can start the game in your freaking pants if you want. So there's a lot there. If you want the challenge, the challenge is there. I've gone for an easy jaunt. Play the way you want to play. And I'll see you inside of the realms, realms walkers. Heck yes, I will. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.